before we got to Cappadocia, the only thing people really mentioned was the hot air ballooning. And yes, I will share that experience later. But no one told us that there are amazing ancient Roman ruins nestled among some of the most unique landscape in the world. Turns out, there's a well-orchestrated tour of all the sites in Cappadocia. Kind of like the people and all the hotels in the area work together to create an experience that really makes the most of this place. Behold. Now, tours are usually not our thing. But after seeing Cappadocia and doing it that way, it isn't the kind of place where you want to wing it. You'll end up missing too much because it's not easy to navigate. At the suggestion of our hotel, we hired a local taxi driver to take us to all the sites. Just a flat day fee. This is Osman. He was a really sweet man, really quiet, but he knew every part of Cappadocia. He showed up every morning and faithfully drove us everywhere, and he waited very patiently while we explored. It was the best way to see Cappadocia, and Evan and I developed kind of a soft spot for Osman. So if you do the tour as it's suggested, it takes three whole days to explore the entire valley. Slow start. Well, we're going. Eh? <laughs> yes, I'm antsy as a mother. The first place Osman took us was Imagination Valley, or in Turkish, it's called the Devrent Valley. This whole area is called Imagination Land. Was it Imagination Land? Imagination Valley. Imagination Valley, Imagination Land is South Park. So when people say Cappadocia is full of lunar landscapes, they're talking about this place right here. I am on another planet right now. You're supposed to walk around and, you know, use your imagination to find shapes in all the rocks. That thing looks like a camel. It's right about there. Man squatting to poop. That looks like a meerkat to me. But what really blew me away in Cappadocia were the Roman ruins. We saw our first ruins at the Zelve Open Air Museum. All the homes and churches in Cappadocia were actually carved into rock, in cliff sides. I mean, it's incredible that people were able to carve an entire civilization out of rock, into the rock, thousands of years ago. This day just got so much more exciting than when it began. Evan and I both love history. Anything ancient really piques my interest, but I don't think you have to be a history lover to appreciate this place, because it's history right at your fingertips, literally. This is history, I'm allowed to touch it. They're not like robots. Which is a really cool picture. It's incredible. It goes all the way up, you see the eyes on the top? The only color that has stood the test of time is the red pigment they used. That's why we only see red on the walls now. But just imagine, 2,000 years ago, these rooms were covered in colors. The Goremi Open Air Museum had the most beautifully preserved frescoes. But, and frescoes, but I can't show it to you because they wouldn't let me film it. Now before I knew I wasn't allowed to film, I was able to capture this. And from here, the frescoes only got more incredible. I really wish I could show you. About eight seconds later, somebody yelled at me for filming. It's sapping my energy so bad. I just want to lay in a hammock. These are really neat channels. It's a good point. Get that footage. I feel like I could take a nap. Oh, yeah, I'm getting sleepy too. It's a really big day. It's a ton of walking, there's constant sun exposure. And uh, Turkish coffee, one day, sugar, yes. Luckily, Turkish coffee always helps and it's always available. But it's the kind of exhausted that 
you feel proud of. You know, you get a lot accomplished on the day one tour of Cappadocia. And you start to not really care about how tired you are, and you just get more and more excited to keep exploring. And that is what you should do, because day two and day three only get better. I can feel the excitement. I hope you guys are enjoying my series about Turkey so far as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you next week.